Hi everyone, my name is Ben Hurts and I'm a teacher working here at the Future Classroom Lab in Brussels. Now here at the Future Classroom Lab we have recently had lots of interesting discussions about coding in the classroom. There's been um, lots of people coming through here, politicians, CEOs, students and teachers, uh, who we've been discussing with the importance of getting our students to not just use the technology, but to get them to actually create or manipulate technology. I think that's a fantastic thing. Um, and especially if you think about how much easier and how much more engaging it is nowadays to work with and build technology. Like these robots here, or these computer-controlled Lego bricks. So, even if you are a bit sceptical about this idea, the reality is that computing and really anything to do with creating and manipulating computers is increasingly becoming important in our national curricula. For example, in the UK, since the beginning of this year, computing is now taught across all age ranges, from primary to secondary, and in many other countries um, are following this example. This means we all need to think about how we best teach computing in our classrooms. So maybe you're a computer science teacher who needs new ideas, tools or resources on how to teach your subject using some of these fantastic new tools. Or you are an art teacher and suddenly you have to talk about website design, user experience and user interfaces in your classes. Or maybe you're a biology teacher who has to teach your students how to program sensors, taking important measurements in an experiment. Then this MOOC is here to help you come to grips with some of these computer science concepts and ideas. We will be exploring the ideas, concepts, processes and skills that are important in computing and then introduce you to the tools, resources and lesson activities that can help you teach these concepts and processes in the classroom. The course is designed as an introductory course for you to use as a starting point to explore some of the ideas and tools further. The course lasts for six weeks and requires around two hours of work per week. The course has been designed by teachers for teachers and will feature lots of interviews, presentations and activities from teachers themselves. But we will also have some contributions from professors, students and computing professionals. Now here's what we will be exploring in the six modules of the course. In module one, we ask the question, why teach computing at schools? So we provide a bit of background to why we would even consider integrating computing ideas and concepts into our teaching. Module two then looks at what exactly are we actually teaching? There's lots of confusion with the terminology of what computing actually is about. So in this module, we explore some of the key ideas and concepts behind computing. In module three to five, we set out to actually answer the course question, how to teach computing. And we will answer this by exploring some visual programming tools, such as Scratch, some game design tools, such as Kodu, and some app development tools, such as the App Inventor. We will always briefly introduce you to these tools, but the focus of the modules is in providing you some ideas and examples of how to use these tools in your lessons. In module six, the final module, we will summarize and recap the main elements of the course and work on the final project of the course, which is to design a learning story using some of the ideas presented on the course. So I hope you will join us on this exciting MOOC. Just register and roll here on this page and I look forward to seeing you on the course.